romance can be anything. Waving goodbye or raising your fist in the air. But you only make a difference when you find your own secret language. True story, a guy called Afshin Ghaffarian. Um, he's around my age. He was born in Iran. And um, he was always passionate about dance, loved to dance. Um, but he lives in a society in Iran where dance is not accepted. It's, it's, it's actually illegal. You can't, um, you know, you can't, there's no freedom of expression in, in sort of outdoors in society. Um, and so he forms an underground dance company, a secret dance company. I think the bigger thing, apart from all the physical training, was the, the emotional training it was giving me. Because I think when you have mirrors in a dance studio, when you're training, or when someone's watching you, you and you know you're not a dancer, there's a part of you that goes, oh my god, they're judging me, and oh my god, I look so awkward, and I have two left feet and dangly arms. And I feel the, the, the one year of prep threw me out of that mindset. It pushed me to the, to the limit, to, the, to that end, where I stop judging myself and I go, I don't care. This is the dance group. How did you? Oh, if you want to be smart, maybe the last one should take the key with them. Can I audition? Well, the scars almost, the makeup covers it, but there is like the tiniest, tiniest bit of um, um, like a little mark that you can t tell that I was bumped on my head. But I mean, it was, it was very annoying in that moment, but very, it's like a battle wound, right? So you kind of feel proud of it later on. So I'm, I'm proud of it. My name is Afshin Ghaffari. I'm a citizen of Iran. I'm a dancer.